Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're new here, my name is Holly. I make food and fitness content. And if you're not new here, welcome back to the channel. This is my final UK vlog. Oh my God. Like you guys are going to hear me say the term bittersweet a hundred times throughout this video because there is no other way to summarize like how I'm feeling. My brain is almost like split into two parts right now and we've got the part that is heading off to move to LA to move to America and is so excited and literally like get me there right now but then we've also got the part of my brain that's saying goodbye to my friends and my family and the city that I live in and my apartment that I'm gonna miss so much like it sounds potentially maybe a little bit silly to be so attached to an apartment but like this apartment just has meant so much to me like it there's more to it than it just being like an apartment and I feel like packing up and leaving is gonna be sad so this vlog is basically gonna be a bit of a prep with me for my move we're gonna be doing hair we're gonna be doing nails we're gonna be making sure that we are nice and fresh before we head off to the states but also my leaving dinner saying goodbye to my friends saying goodbye to my family and yeah that kind of like not as happy bubbly portion of it but don't worry this isn't gonna be a sad vlog i'm not gonna make this a bit of a debbie downer because like i said we are still excited. We're going off on this huge adventure. So today we are off to get our nails done. We're off our final UK nail appointment before the big move. As you can see, I have got very Christmassy fingernails at the moment. So these definitely need to go. So I'm going to pop to M&S before I go and I'm going to get some flowers just to say like thank you because... I feel like she has literally been a therapist to me over the past few years and it just feels wrong to like just be like bye and then like not be able to like give her something so i'm gonna go and get some flowers before my appointment so i can give them to her and yeah we'll update you guys when the nails are nice and fresh right that's the cute one the kids i got her and um jenny she works with the box for prosecco because they're both following my marathon guide so they're running the first marathon so she was like oh. I'll get that for them because I'm not going to see them when they run it so they can drink it after they complete it. So I just got back. My nails are so cute. So how funny. I was like, oh, I think I'll choose the purple. And the purple's name is Californian. Like, that's a little bit creepy. Um, Aggie got me, like, a little leaving present. So she wrote me a card and Percy Pigs. I feel like I'm probably going to be taking a suitcase full of Percy Pigs at this point because I've bought myself loads and I feel like everyone's going to be like, she needs more Percy Pigs to go. And then she got me this potato and it's called... The positive potato and he says i may be a tiny potato but i believe in you go and do your thing and i was like he's gonna come and carry on luggage with me that's really sweet of her and that was oh i knew i was gonna like get a bit choked up at the end but we were both like bye it's just obviously so weird because it's like obviously when i come back to england like i want to come back up to manchester and i definitely will but it's like you you can't be like oh I'll see you in like six months because it's like i don't know when the next time like i'll be back up is especially because my family live down south so i feel like when i come back to england now a lot of the time i spend i'll be spending like in london and down south which makes it extra weird but anyway yeah nails are done really really happy with them morning guys i'm just going to show you outside really quickly because the weather oh my goodness what is going on it is b-e-a beautiful oh, yeah. <laughs> I definitely forgot how to spell then. Um, good morning, guys. So obviously, as part of the goodbye vlog, I currently, today, this morning, am actually hosting my Squares Run Club, which is really, like, exciting, but also sad because it's, like, the last event that I'm going to be doing in the UK for a while. So I thought I would bring you along for it and we can go together. I am honestly so excited. My sister is here. I'm going to bring you in to say hello. We've just been getting ready for, like, way too long. That's why. <laughs> Is that a parmaid? <laughs> We're literally like matching today. How cute. We're in the squares colours. Um, so yeah, the squares event is in, well, I think we're going to head over in like about an hour. Um, let me show you the jackets that we have. So we've got everybody like a waterproof jacket. Um, we have so many goodies for everyone. Like I'm so excited. I was saying to Kari yesterday, like I don't really feel like I've said too much about the event because i think a lot of people just kind of think we're turning up and like we're running but like it's like a whole event there's a lot of food there's a lot of goodies there's going to be a lot of things exciting things there um but let me show you the jacket so strong class 30 times squares we got these in case it was raining but i'm not gonna lie like i just showed you i actually think if the weather can just stay like this we will have the most perfect weather for the run um i do have my new little like squish scrunchy in how cute is that i got it to match the squares colors that i'm also wearing i'm just yabbering on because i think i'm 
excited but that is kind of all the updates i can give you for now we're gonna go early so i'll give you like a little tour of where we're doing the run club um and then i'll try and get some behind the scenes but they actually have a videographer coming in so if my vlogging is useless i will insert the professional clips from the professional videographer as we're at the venue so we literally got like five minutes before everybody comes in so i'm gonna run around and show you everything but it literally looks like you don't need like a like how is this happening that is literally me right now everybody's like queued up outside you can't really see but they're all waiting there's literally people here since like 9 a.m which is crazy so we need to get on the side quickly because they're probably gonna be frozen but we have a staging area so me and sophia are gonna be doing a q a later i'm gonna do like a welcome talk at like 10 50 after everybody's mingled and had some food because we have so much like food and drink for everyone i actually haven't eaten yet today because it's been a bit nervy um, and then we have the jackets this is the jacket i was wearing earlier and then over there we've got the big deck chair we've got these girls run over here <laughs> they're going to be facing the event for us today which is so nice so we've got like it's just like everything has just been like so incredibly like thought out from like the Spurs team and from like these girls run and also from like our strong girl society team and yeah i just can't wait like i'm literally looking at everybody else right now and i'm like just want to be like come in um but yeah i'll put in some probably like of the professional clips because they're actually going to be filming basically for me today which is me because i don't have to have my vlogging camera out in everybody's face um but yeah i'll catch up with you guys probably post event Seeing just everybody here like absolutely blows my mind, like starting Strong Girl Society. I never in a million years would have even thought we had like 20 Facebook members, yet alone an event like this. And I think bringing everybody together to run is just incredible and I'm so excited and cannot wait to get out there, even though it is absolutely freezing. So we are going to do a really good warm up first. So I'm back from the event now. Um, my sister's just literally headed off back to Nottingham. I'm just about to jump in a bath and basically have a little bit of a reset afternoon before Monday morning because next week is my final week in Manchester, which feels crazy. I need to just like talk about what has just happened. Like, I don't even have words. Like, I cannot even put into words how much this morning meant to me. Like, to host an event like that is never something I ever dreamed would even be possible. And like, it just meeting every single girl that was there today meant so much to me and to even be a part of the strong girl society means so much because the community is just genuinely so kind and so lovely yet alone to have founded it and when i founded it like i didn't even think we'd hit like even a hundred facebook members yet alone have a hundred girls coming to an event and running with us and having more girls wanting tickets and it's just been the most insane morning and i just feel so filled with love i'm also losing my voice because i've been talking so much and my social battery is literally on zero but i would run myself into the ground <laughs> to do an event like that like it just means so much and everybody was just so kind and so lovely it was a really like nice final kind of like goodbye to like i guess like my community in real life but it's funny because it's like goodbye but it's not like definitely goodbye like i know that like my plan is to like come back and host more events in the uk and i think it would just be a case of like they'll just have to be even more special and even bigger because they'll just bigger plans that i'll come back for and we can do stuff like other run clubs other events like i've just got so much in the pipeline for Strong Girl Society this year and even though I'm going to be in a different country it doesn't change any of that. I hope you guys did enjoy the footage. I cannot take any credit for it because that was all the videographers that Squares brought on and Squares honestly were... I can't even express how grateful I am that they've like hosted that event with me yet alone made it so exceptional and so incredible and I'll catch up with you guys 
the next portion of the movie vlog. Oh, uh, guys, it's a really good day today because today is another phase of the freshen up before we head to LA and we are getting our hair done. I have wanted highlights for so long, but I made a commitment last year to improving my hair health. So I only get highlights every six months. Every six months, I'm allowed to put a tiny bit of bleach on my hair and that six months has come around and I'm finally allowed to put some bleach on my hair. Now, I'm not gonna go as blonde as I did last year. So at the beginning of last year, before I went to LA the first time, I went very, very blonde. And you know what? At the time, I absolutely loved it. But now I look back, my hair health wasn't great. And it just was, it was just very, very blonde. And it was very, very long. And they weren't the most manageable. And I also think that I just like, I like a different style now. I feel like I like it to look a lot more natural. Like I really like my natural color. I don't have any problems with that, but I just want it to be a little bit lighter, almost more of like a sun-kissed blonde. And we're just gonna go a nice like mid kind of length, nothing too crazy, nothing too long, but yeah, I'm so excited. Guys, my hair is done. I'm so happy with it. I just feel like a little bit of blonde just brightens up my life basically but we literally only did a face frame so you can see here we've literally only just got the pilots through here this is just my natural color I did a whole new set of hair extensions so we've used the beauty work shades molly may walnut and sunset we've got molly may in the front and then sunset walnut blended in the back and we've done 18 inches because i didn't want to go too long but yeah that is the hair portion of the vlog and i will join you guys this weekend when it is my leaving dinner with my gorgeous gorgeous friends from manchester hi guys right i'm gonna pretend like i haven't been crying all morning because i definitely have so we are on to my leaving dinner portion of the video but it's, it's so like bittersweet so it's my leaving dinner but it's also lucy's birthday dinner tonight so there's like good vibes we have a couple of sad vibes like it's gonna be it's gonna be really hard to say bye to girls and i have literally been like crying in my car this morning even thinking about it but i'm just trying to keep like the mood up because it's obviously like lucy's birthday dinner as well and i don't want to be like sat crying i have just decorated the kitchen i'll show you all the stuff i got i want to pick up a cake from little blonde bakes in manchester they are my go-to if I need anybody's birthday cake. Look at how incredible this looks. And then we have some balloons. There's little balloons on the floor, confetti. So that is the setup. And then for each of the girls this evening, I've basically made everyone like a teeny tiny goodie bag. Um, I'm so excited because it's really rare that like when you have a friendship group of 10 people, you can all be free. And tonight is like the first time in forever that we're all free. Um, so it's just really nice. So I've made everyone like a little goodie bag like this. And then inside, I've got everyone a little jelly cat key ring. Um, and I've basically found like the oldest photo that I have with each of the girls and I've like printed it out and put it in there and I've written everyone just like a little note to kind of say like, thanks for their like friendship and just everything for over the past few years when I've lived in Manchester. Oh, Holly! Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Aww. It's just really good with the theme. It does, it does. <laughs> Right guys, we are ready for our evening. Um, I got ready so early, I've literally just been sat watching Lucy get ready. We've been taking bets on when we're first gonna, who's gonna cry first. Who's gonna cry first? We have had some tears already. Cheers! Happy birthday! Happy leaving. <laughs> <laughs> if you love me, let me go.
morning. Hi guys. Good morning. Um, wow. <laughs> wow. Um, where do we even start? We had the best time. We have had the best night. We are both so very like Best birthday, up. best leaving, so much fun. There was, it was so much fun. Um, so we woke up this morning, I woke up on the sofa, I had my whoop and my Garmin on, I've cleaned the whole flat when no, I was drunk. pause, she didn't have her whoop and her Garmin on when we went out, so she came home, put them on, and, and speed tied the around. flat. I took the bins out. Um, the flat, it doesn't the, do that any I time. I don't normally take the bins out, but when I'm drunk, I think I thought, I hate doing this job so much, if I do it when I'm drunk, I won't remember it, so it'll be fine. <laughs> then, I fell asleep on the sofa because Lucy came in, got butt naked, <laughs> fell asleep across my bed, didn't move. So I was like, I'm not gonna fit in there. I literally go, why did you have a towel on? You must have showered. No, I didn't. And it smelled like I showered. <laughs> I literally go, went, I was like, where am I? And then obviously realized I was at Holly's, so I was like, phew, I'm safe. And then I was like, I'm completely naked. And then I was like, and I had a towel with me. Maybe I put it on you because you were on the duvet. Maybe I thought you needed a blanket. Even my fake eyelashes, they were stuck in my eye. Good morning, guys. The flat is looking very empty behind me. We have now recovered from the hangover. It did basically take me two days because we went hard for my final night in Manchester, but I've literally had 10 hours of sleep last night and I'm feeling a lot fresher today, which is great. So I did get a huge chunk of packing and clearing out done yesterday. Really proud of myself, even though I wasn't feeling <laughs> the freshest. And yeah, as you can see behind me, the flat is starting to look very empty. It's currently Tuesday. I'm leaving Manchester on two days. So today is a big, big packing day. Things need to go in suitcases today. That's what needs to be done. Um, I do actually have a laser hair removal appointment first. So this is part of my prep slash like freshening up for LA. I started laser hair removal last year, so this is going to be my second session, which I know you're supposed to have like six, but guys, like, I've noticed such a huge difference. Like, I would say one session is, like, life-changing. I go to the skin courts in Manchester. I'll show you guys when she does my armpits. Might not show you when she does my Hollywood. That feels slightly too intimate for my YouTube channel. But yeah, let's head off, see Grace, get our laser hair removal done, then we'll come back and get some more packing done. I'll show you how much I've done now quickly, because I feel like you guys be really proud of me. I don't feel too stressed about this. I feel like this will go in my four suitcases. I might even have room left. I still have coats and jackets, but let's not talk about that. But I feel good. I don't feel stressed. I thought at this point I probably would have been like, oh my God, there's way too much stuff. It's not gonna fit, but I feel like it will. And of course we will be taking our favorite snacks with us too. We're back. That was so quick. Honestly, the first time I went and got laser, I just didn't really like understand what it was. And I, number one, thought it would take like two hours. I thought they had to laser every single hair follicle. Um, they don't. The laser works in like a bigger way. So you literally in there for, I think that for my armpits and my Hollywood took, I mean, my appointment was at 11 and I'm home by 11.30. So 10 minutes driving either side, literally took 10 minutes. Like that in, out, done. Grace at the Skin Quartz has very kind of gifted that service to me. I just want to make that clear. However, I cannot recommend laser enough. I was literally saying to her, like, it is life-changing. Like, laser has actually changed my life. Like, it's so nice to not have to worry about, like, shaving or anything like that. And especially when I'm going away somewhere hot and I want to be, like, able to just put my bikini and go to the beach. Like, it's going to make such a massive difference. So, yeah, now was a really good time as well to get laser because you can have all your sessions before the summer starts. So if anybody needs recommendations, Skin Courts in Manchester with Grace, incredible. Honestly, couldn't recommend it enough. Like, I'm actually sad that I'm not gonna be seeing her anymore for my laser sessions, but she sent me the name of the laser, so I'm gonna find somewhere in LA and continue it because I don't think I can imagine my life without it now. Anyway, I need to quit yabbering on because we have a mammoth task in front of us, but I also haven't eaten yet today, so I'm gonna make some food, get myself ready, and then we'll start packing. I feel like it's wildly appropriate that I'm currently drinking out of this mug. So with things like my kitchen stuff, cause currently, can we just appreciate how like empty these are? Like this was yesterday's hungover jobby, but with like mugs and stuff, obviously I can't take my whole like dinner set to the US. Like it's just gonna be so heavy and I'm not gonna have enough room. So basically with stuff like that, all of it has been donated to like friends and families. And also it's really nice in my building, by the bin store, and this made me laugh because a girl messaged me about this morning. In the bin store, people have like an area where like you'll leave things, so like pillows or like a lamp, and then people will go and see and like have a look and take them for their apartments. It's really nice. And we also have a giant like um, donation bin, so for any like 
tracksuits or things like that that like my friends haven't wanted I've managed to donate them to charity which is really lovely but I woke up this morning to a girl that messaged me and she said wow you are officially moving out because I've seen the clock downstairs <laughs> and she said she went into the bin room and the clock that was there was in the area where anyone can take it so I don't know whether she'd take it but um it just made me laugh so much because I was like the iconic clock that's been on that wall for two years and not once has it told the time right not one singular time has been correct on that clock and you know what's even funnier my oven clock is also wrong for two years i've just lived with incorrect clocks either side of me and like i'd like to think and you guys probably think i'm a pretty organized person i'm pretty strict on my routine things like that that just screams chaotic like the clock had batteries in it was just wrong <laughs> lunch after that sin of packing nearly everything is now packed there's just like a few like cushions like pots pans things like that but i'll probably need those like today and tomorrow i just feel pretty like emotional like anytime i feel sad i think i'm just like don't be sad like you're moving to such an amazing place and i am that is very true but it doesn't make it any harder like i feel like my whole i mean my whole life is this apartment and it has been this apartment and moving into this apartment was like the first like independent thing i did and i remember like at that point i was like this is the most insane thing like the fact that i can afford to pay rent on an apartment for myself especially an apartment as like beautiful as this like i just remember thinking like oh my god like i've made it and like this was such an i made it moment with like my career and everything and i'm just like so proud of like this apartment my life here and like the work that i've put in over the past two years to be able to move to la it's just crazy so it's just like a really like emotional thing like seeing it really empty and i'm gonna miss it so much i'm gonna miss manchester so much but goodbye for now not goodbye forever i'm definitely gonna be back and it will be so nice to like come back and visit and i have been a bit gutted this week because one thing i really wanted to do was I'm obviously wanting to run a half marathon every month this year and unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to do that in January I'm just still not in the best pace with my like leg pain it's kind of now my hip that is the issue rather than my knee um and I really 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 wanted to run a half marathon this week in Manchester just to like do one final push and like one final goodbye but I just like physically can't do it. It feels really sad that I'm not going to get to have that like last big run, but we've still got a run tomorrow that we could go and do. It just won't be quite as monumental as a half marathon. But I am thinking that that will just mean that at some point I will have to come back and run the Manchester Marathon. Like that will just have to be done now that I've not been able to have this one. The next big run I do in Manchester will have to be the marathon. I've basically decided. I'm not sure when it will be. It will definitely happen at some point, but. Yeah, it's just, it's a bit sad, but I've got so many incredible runs lined up this year that hopefully I will be resting up for currently that I can go and do. And there's no point like digging myself to a worse place of my injury. And you know, it's so funny because packing really isn't helping. Like having to move these heavy ass suitcases around and like move all of this crap out of my apartment has really not helped my hip, but 
it's just one of those things like I can't avoid it and there's never going to be a good time to have an injury so hopefully by the time we touch down in LA we will be feeling a lot more injury free and ready for some incredible runs as jump back into my running journey and but yeah I'm saying that like I'm literally signing off the video and I'm not I'm going out for dinner with Mia tonight me and Mia are gonna have a good pie meal and then we've got one more stage of the pre-LA freshen up tomorrow before I head back to Kent Good morning guys, we are heading off on our last run in Manchester this morning. I literally teared up like putting my socks on, we're doing six kilometers. And I was actually thinking about this last night and I was like, it's like a kilometer for every year that I've lived in Manchester. So it's still a really lovely run. It still feels as special as a half marathon would have. But let's head off because I've already done a little bit of a warm up so I don't wanna waste too much time. And then we'll jump into the rest of the final day in Manchester. I am also very aware that everything I'm doing, I'm like, oh, last morning, last breakfast, last time putting my socks on in Manchester. Like, I know I am that person, but I'm just feeling so like emotional um, at the moment, but also like on the other side, excited. like there is literally two sections of my brain right now. Like one side is so excited to the point where I couldn't sleep last night. Like I started really thinking about like what I'm gonna do next week when I finally get there. And I was like, oh my goodness, like, I'm just so excited for this year and for the future. And I think because I've said some of my goodbyes now, like that excitement is more kicking in because it's felt a little bit sadder over the past few weeks and it has like excited. But as we're getting closer towards it and I've said my goodbyes and I'm packing up my flat, like I'm like, oh my goodness, like it is happening. And I'm just like so beaming and I just cannot wait to like get there and just get cracking and just start on the new chapter. But We've still got to close the old chapter first, so let's go off on our last run around Manchester city centre. Actually feeling great. Normally if my knee starts to hurt, it's around four or five, so hopefully, fingers crossed, this is the best I've felt running in a week, so hopefully it goes okay. I don't know why I've just had to come on a completely random route today. We have to run around here before. Guys, just like that, the last run in Manchester is done um really lovely weather what a nice one to go out on like i said i did a bit of a, a detour i don't know why i was like i'm gonna run down by like juice 92 and like by the canal a bit random because i've never done that before but it was really nice and nice to change it up a bit and yeah the last one is done i think it's one of those things like i said it's not quite the big run that i wanted to end on but i'm not letting that take away from all the wins that i've had running here and all of the achievements i've had running here because it's not about that and I still feel like I still finish strong because that was as much as I could do right now and that is as much as I can do at the moment with like how the way I'm feeling so actually that was my own marathon in a way <laughs> but I'm gonna get showered and then we're gonna head off because we've got an eyebrow and eyelash appointment and then the final bit of packing guys I'm in the hot seat here with Fiona <laughs> Fiona's been doing my lashes and brows for how many years now about you've what, seen at least a decade yeah <laughs> you've seen me through it all you've been yeah. here since i worked at boohoo at uni yeah kink girls really? have got to stick together yeah exactly <laughs> um so today we're doing like a brows and lash package that you do aren't yeah. we hd brows and lbo lashes very excited really this fit. is what i normally get guys so that's why my lashes look so great all the time <laughs> and then the, the brows definitely need doing because my brows go like ginger from where i had um can you see? Oh, it's so bad. Look at that. Yeah. I had, um, That's them. the semi-permanent. So this is why I have to have HD brows, because if not... Oh my god, that's actually really bad. Um, I'll put prop up here so you can see a bit of the process. <laughs> Guys, the... Eyebrows and eyelashes are done. Eyebrows are always like a little bit crazy when you first have them done, but that is me done. That is me signing off on the final UK vlog. Here I am with the finals again. Um, yeah, I just literally ran home. I've had to wash and clean my hair. I've finished 
packing and also not everything is fitting in my suitcases but you know what it it really doesn't matter like i'm just genuinely so excited and i still cannot believe that in literally four days time tomorrow for you guys i am flying out of the uk the country where i've grown up and lived in my whole life and i'm going to be moving to la the most incredible place to just start basically like a new life it just it feels crazy and it's really hitting me now and i just can't stop smiling because i'm just so unbelievably excited and i hope you guys are equally excited for the la content honestly your messages of like congratulations but just like how you guys are excited for the content and just for like this next step for me as well just like means so much and it's so lovely to have all of your support and i can't wait to take you on the whole journey with me so poa the next video is gonna be my first week in LA. When I arrive, I'm actually gonna take a bit of time away from social media in terms of like Instagram and TikTok and just really get settled. But you guys will be coming along with me. So next week's vlog is gonna be the whole first week kind of like behind the scenes of me settling down and getting everything done. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to see you next week. And please don't forget to like and subscribe.